you feel like they finally bounced back after those couple losses you had to Poirier and Lamas? Totally. You know, just coming off injuries, you know, before the, the Aldo fight was supposed to happen, hurting my knee, and then not even getting that many fights in, only getting two fights in, and their losses, it was, it was terrible, you know. I was forgetting what it tastes like to win, and that's not me. That's not Eric. So um, it's good to just get in there and get the W, and, you know, I want to get right back in there. You know, 55 I can make a lot easier so I can take more fights. You swarmed right in there, right after that straight left. How did it feel to get that finish? Uh, it was awesome. It was awesome. Uh, you know, I got to give it to Oliveira. You know, he's good. And he took punishment, man. I got on top, and it, it was something we worked. You know, if I dropped him, I didn't want to get too carried away in his guard. He's a good ground guy. I didn't want to give him a triangle or anything like that. So I hit him a couple times, and I was almost like, I might just back away. Like, he's not, you know, he's trying to pull me down. I can feel how strong he is. And uh, I, I decided to go for the gusto. I was hearing the fans. They wanted blood. I had to go in for the kill. You said yesterday that you were going to knock him out. It was the way that you saw it in your head. Totally, totally. And, you know, I was working with, with my coach, the one and only Duke Rufus before that, you know, um, just uh, working that strong parry, the strong left. Also knowing how good of a good guy he is on the ground. I got the best jiu-jitsu coach I've ever had communicates the best with me. Uh, it makes me better. Um, Daniel Vanderlei, uh, it, dude's a beast. So just having, you know, I didn't have three corners. I just had two. That's all I needed was was Duke and Daniel, and my confidence was was very high. Did you know that the, the weight difference would make as much of a difference to you as, 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 as what happened out there? To totally. Uh, what a lot of people don't know, you know, my brother put it perfectly. You know, I walk around sometimes 195 pounds. People don't understand that. I come to a UFC expo and people don't. I'm with Anthony. They're like, is that is that Coke? Is that Coke? They don't even know because I'm, I, don't, I don't even look like the same person. And uh, it's one of those things I cut down to 45. I'm cutting 10, 15 pounds of muscle. When you have 24 hours to rehydrate, you're not gaining muscle. It's, it's more me putting a huge weight vest on myself. And I, I feel sluggish. I feel slow. I felt sluggish and slow in, in the Poirier fight and the, and the Lamas fight. You know, it, it just didn't feel like me. So out there tonight, that, that was me. I'm light on my feet. I can move. Um, you know, I'm slick. That's just how it is. At, at 45, it, it's just, it wasn't me. So this 55, this is this is the Eric Koch you you should have been seeing the last couple of years. You'll never go back. I will never ever go back. And to the fans that think because Anthony's fighting lightweight, when Anthony thought I was going, or when uh, Anthony was going to go to featherweight fight, although people asked me if I was going to 35, I was <laughs> like, what? Is that that's not possible? You know, so. So, yeah, you know, the, I'm here to stay. You know, this is my weight class now. I'm going to stay here. So ex explain this to a guy who doesn't like to cut weight. Why did it take you so long to make that decision to go back up? Um, I, I had to make, because, you know, just having that, that title fight, you know, when we took the Lamas fight, it was whoever won that fight right. gets the title fight. So it's kind of like, tight, I want that glory. You know, I'll deal with a little pain and suffering to, to take that chance, you know. And, uh, but definitely after the Aldo camp, uh, when I hurt my knee, I ballooned up, man. And I'm going to tell you guys this. I'm not proud of it, all right? But I got up to, like, 210. I was big, you know? And cutting to 45 is it was ridiculous. So it's uh, it's one of those things I just – just to keep my status, just to keep my top 10 ranking. That's the only reason. So you got in, in and out of there so quickly tonight. I mean, how many fights would you like to ideally do this year? Because I, it seems I, like you can I, through again. I, I've, said, I've set a goal of four fights this year. So, you know, it – just the last couple years with the injuries and how much weight, you know, fighting at 45, I need three months to prepare because it's it's a scientific process, man. Even my nutritionist is like, I won't work with you if you go to 45 again. So it was one of those things. Everybody around me is like, yeah, 55, 55. And you got your boss's attention right away, too. He tweeted right – Dana tweeted – Right after the fight, you look good. So. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know, I, I, I'm not, I'm not spitting bull crap out there. You know, this, this was me. And you know, before I walked out there, you, you saw, you saw the, the white boy with swagger. You know, come back again. I, I, I feel good. I feel really good. Do you have a plan at 155? Have you thought, a, thought ahead to future fights, future opponents? I know some you know, people don't call people out. But. Yeah, I, I don't call people out. I'm in the money making business right now. You the know, what? the money making business. I, I've, I've got, you know, to the point where I've dealt with. You know, the hype of a title with the whole Aldo thing and, and that falling through. You know, it, Anthony's got the title. I'm proud of what he's doing. That's my brother. I'll never fight him. Yeah. Um, so he's doing his thing right now. I'm not, I'm not worried about a title, man. I'm worried about going in, having fun, not killing myself going in there, putting on a, fan, you know, a show for the fans. That, that's what people want to see. They want to see finishes, not these you know, decisions of people going to the ground and holding somebody. Speaking of the making money business, uh, being on UFC Fight Pass, did that seem to affect you in any way sponsorship-wise? A lot of people have been talking about that, whether or not the fighters take a hit. 
You know, it, it, I, I'm not even sure. You know, I'm, I'm not even positive. And honestly, I don't even think too much about sponsors. You know, I have my management company, MMA Inc., that does a great job with that. Um, like I said, you know, I know a lot of the fighters are the run of mill. Oh, you know, I just like to fight. That That is what it is. I'm not, I don't like getting into the politics about it, you know. It, it's whatever, you know. I'm a money-making business. I'll make my money with my hands and my feet, you know. In the, in the cage, what weight were you tonight compared to when you were 45? I was close to 75. And when you bought 45, what did you buy that? I would actually get to 70. I'd get really heavy, but the thing is, I would cut. I was cutting muscle to get down there, so all that was water. So it was like I was. I had a small frame with with cut down muscle, and I was wearing a big, like a, a suit of water. You know, that's why I felt really sluggish. I didn't feel good. 55, I get to maintain just enough muscle, and my my fast twitch is going, so I, I feel a lot better. Thanks, guys.